Crime Gallery is entering its 30th year as a gallery. I've been the director for the past five years. And we are here today for the opening of Shannon Craig's fifth solo show at Prime. Her first solo being in my first year. So a very exciting event. Well, it's it's uh, it just it was it seemed to be a natural evolution, uh, Shannon. She always was very creative, and, and it seemed to, there was never any question what she was going to do in her life. When she left school, it seemed like all of a sudden it was like a rocket taking off. She just suddenly was there. She was she was doing uh, solo exhibitions. She was. She was in demand. It was exciting. I had a great big studio in, in Ottawa and I decided I wanted to build a studio onto the house. We have shared the studio and uh, you know we painted the cottage together as well but it's uh, you know, we're both quite separate uh, painters. But we use the same paint. <laughs> Um, well, I've been painting, like doing art my whole life because both my parents are artists and they kind of encouraged me when I was a kid. Right now, painting's kind of what my inspiration is, just based on like, I'm living in the Canadian landscape, I'm going into the cottage, I'm seeing skies and that's sort of where I'm inspired from right now. Well, I, I sometimes feel that like, um, the Canadian landscape's been a little bit neglected now. I mean, a lot of people have gone towards um, like abstract, figurative work and not, decided to do something different with the landscapes. I mean, since a group of seven, I mean, I know there's a lot of people still painting, but just to try to do a little bit of a different, bring it in a different direction. Uh, I've been a lot of places and it's just a beautiful world and it's, it's surprising like how unique and beautiful different places can be and what you can get from it. There's no piece that really stands still. I need to have a lot of energy in it and um, they're fresh and um, not overworked. I do, you know what I mean? I just try to, have a good color sense and I'll start a painting um, or two in a day and I'll put them aside and I may not work on them again in a month or in two weeks so I'll like you know I can finish a show in three months. I have my digital camera um, I take a lot of pictures actually just driving in the car past so I get to time it like when I see something I want to take a photo of I have to wait like take a picture just as it's going by. I have a camera phone that I can take pictures of because I always have my phone with me so if I see something I just have to get photographs of I can I have it and I'm really happy sometimes. Because I mean, there's an image you can get that you'll never see again in your whole life. You know, it's so beautiful. And if you lose it at that moment, like the skies, they change in a minute. You know what I mean? Like the light will change and it's gone. So you really need to be able to capture it. You don't get to go back and do it again. I, I internalize a lot. Like I'm, I'm really affected by things. Like if I can see like the light on one leaf will really move me. Like when someone look at it, oh, it's just a leaf. Or it's just, like when I see it, it really it has a lot of emotional impact on me. So what I'm trying to do is when I see a landscape that has that effect on me, I'm trying to, to use the image but also use that memory and try to combine them and make them into something that can affect the person looking at the painting.